Okay, so this video will graph this function. So first we want to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the n behavior, and then we will graph. Okay, so first x-intercept. X-intercept here is also called the real zero. All right, so to find the x-intercept, you want to make your y equal to zero. All right, so you will have three x-intercept. One comes from here, which is zero. One is from here, which is one. And one comes from this factor, which is negative two. So three x-intercepts or three real zeros and the corresponding multiplicity which is how many times the corresponding uh, factor appears in the function. So the multiplicity for this zero is two, appeared twice, right? Because it has the power of two. And for one, the multiplicity is, look at here, only appeared once. And uh, the multiplicity for x plus two, or multiplicity for this real, real zero negative two is four. Okay, so now we find all the actions intercept and the multiplicity, and we'll talk about um, how that will reflect in your graph a little bit later. Now let's find the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, you want to make your x equal to zero. In this case, you want to find what is f of zero, where this x is equal to zero, right? So negative three times zero squared, times zero minus one, times zero plus two to the fourth power. And since you have a factor of zero here, it's zero. So x-intercept is zero. You can call it zero, zero. That's, oh, sorry, the y-intercept. I think I said x-intercept. Anyway, the last information we want to gather is to find the and behavior. So the and behavior of the function uh, means when x goes to infinity or negative infinity, you know, how your graph look like. So uh, the and behavior assembles the leading term. In this case, the leading term is y equals negative 3x to the seventh power. How do I get that? you just look at the first term, right? The leading term. So in this case, it will be negative three, that's the leading coefficient, and x squared times, you will get an x from here and you will get x to the fourth from here. So you just multiply the um, x with the biggest term in each factor. So you will get x to the seventh. So x squared, that's plus one, x to the third and times x to the fourth, x to the seventh. So that's the leading term. Our graph, uh, the end behavior of our graph will assemble the leading term. Well, the graph of y equals negative three x to the seventh will look like this. Well, but the end behavior, that means when x goes to infinity or negative infinity, well, the and behavior will be like this. So it doesn't matter what the middle part look like, but when x goes to the negative infinity, your graph is going to look like this. When x going to the infinity, your graph is going to look like this. Okay, so we'll figure out the and behavior. Okay, with all the information here, we can graph. So let's start with the coordinate plane, x, y. Let me mark all the x-intercepts here. x-intercept, we have three of them. One is zero, one is one, one is negative two. Negative one, negative two. So three x-intercept. Let me mark it on the graph. All right, so now look, the multiplicity for um, zero is two. That means our graph will just pass it without 
well, sorry, our graph will just touch the x-axis without passing it, similar for the other one. Let's start from the end behavior. The end behavior is like this, right? So starting from the negative infinity, you will start from here. And then when we reach to negative two, since the multiplicity is four, which is even, it won't pass it, it will just touch the graph on the x-axis, so we'll go back. And then somehow we will go to our next x-intercept, which is zero. Well, the multiplicity for this x-intercept is two, which is also even, so that means you won't pass it, you will just touch it and go, and then you will come back to this x-intercept one, the multiplicity is one here. That means your graph will pass through it. So that's a rough graph of this function.